everybody, Steve Przbrowski here. Welcome to episode 40 in the 101 Tips to Ace Your Promotional Exam series. As a reminder, my website, code3firetraining.com, has a lot of great free information on there. Just click the free stuff link and you'll have hours, if not days and weeks to go down rabbit holes and find a lot of good stuff to help you be the best that you can be or help others as well too. So check it out. Also, this series is based on my latest book from Fire Engineering Books and Videos titled 101 Tips to Ace Your Promotional Exam. So it's available off their website as well as mine. Now, let's get into this. We've talked a little about in previous tips about understanding what your department's promotional process consists of. You know, what are the events? Written test, emergency scene simulation, writing exercise, in-basket exercise, leaderless group, um, personnel counseling scenario, teaching demonstration, oral presentation, whatever it is. Now, I'm a firm believer in preparing for the position, not just the test. Understand the testing process, but prepare for the position because then there should be no curveballs. But one of the, the critical things is understanding what the process consists of. Um, and again, you can talk to a lot of people in your own department to, hey, what, what was in the last captain's test? You know, for those that got promoted, what, what should I expect? Don't expect the answers. Don't, hey, give me all the answers. It doesn't work that way. But there are promotional preparation classes that are out there. Um, now, none of them are your, catered to your department. Like on occasion, I'll do promotional preparation classes, one day, half day, two days. But as I tell people right up front, this is not a class to teach you. This is not a class catered to your department. I mean, I had a department hire me specifically to come out to Indiana to give them a full day of promotional preparation. And the first thing I told them was, this is not a class to pass your department's test. And they're like looking at me going, well, what the hell are you here for? And the chief was like, I brought them out here to give you big picture strategic things to make you be the best that you can be on your promotional exam. Because, you know, he had, had he inherited a department that had different processes and he's trying to up the game. He's trying to make it a more modernized process. So he's trying to expose them to the different things they may expect on a process, not to mention how to better themselves by preparing for the position. So there are some classes out there and I'll share a couple of them with you. So obviously if you use the internet, you can find some of the stuff. There's a handful of books out there, um, very few classes, but I'll share a couple that I'm aware of. Um, Andoni Castros, retired battalion chief from Sac Metro, Sacramento Metro in California Fire Department. I've known him for, God, 25 plus years. I was a intern, paramedic intern at his department on his crew for a while um, because I worked for a neighboring fire department. So I first got to meet him there and we've become good friends. In his latest book, Mastering the Fire Service Assessment Center, I actually wrote a couple pages in there and he wrote the forward to this book, One Her One Tips. So very great, solid dude. Um, he does promotional classes like I do, but he's more active in it than I am because I'm focusing more on my courage under fire leadership right now, but he focuses a lot on this. And then he also now does this virtually. So anyone anywhere around the country can go through the online workshops that he's put together. I mean, it's a great program. If you go to his website, trainfirefighters.com for more information, he does a great overview, as you can see, of all the different the most common events or promotional assessment or events that you may find in a department's process. Again, it's not your department, but again, when a, when a training chief like myself or a human resources person is looking for what to test their personnel on, they're gonna be looking at the best practices. So here's a great example of a lot of great valuable information that you can get that's out there. So check his stuff out. I think it's very valuable. And like I said, you know, the book's great, just like my book is good, but. He's something else as well, too. It's not just not about me. Another great resource, uh, Mike Turpak and crew, um, their website, promotionalprep.com. Mike out of New Jersey, they do a lot of stuff. Now, some things you'll learn, like there are still certain states like New Jersey, I believe Massachusetts, and a few of the back east cities, cities, back east states um, and cities, obviously, they sort of do like a statewide testing process. Like in New Jersey, I never knew this, but in New Jersey, for example, if you want to be a battalion chief, you take the statewide test, just like anybody else would for any other New Jersey fire department, at least that's how I understand it. So you just take the state test that they offer like once a year or whatever, and you're placed on the statewide list. Now, you can't use that to go to another department from what I understand, but when your department is looking at promoting, say, a battalion chief, they have to go to that state list and see which one of their personnel took the test, and they base it, their promotion based on who took the test. So it's different. I mean, it, it is what it is. So like, 
for those of you in New Jersey, like Mike's put together some great classes of how to prepare for those tests for the different things that you may expect. Now, you may go, well, I'm from California, Michigan, Utah. This ain't going to benefit me because I don't work in New Jersey. Well, maybe, maybe not because they, Mike has some, Mike has put together some great books as well, too, also published by, published by Fire Engineering Books and Videos on assessment centers. And a lot of the information there is just going to make you a better officer, better leader. And that's why even going back to Chief Castro's class, a lot of people, I think, give it a bad name by saying, yeah, he's teaching people how to pass the test. No, he's not, and he's not giving away the answers. He's teaching you just like um, Chief Turpak, retired deputy chief out of New Jersey is teaching you along with the other folks that he teaches with how to, I mean, yeah, you're getting exposed to what to expect on the testing process, but you're also learning how to be a better leader, supervisor, manager, and officer. So take advantage of that. A lot of great stuff on his website as well too. So those are probably, I mean, there is not a lot, I mean, there's tons of leadership books out there, but there's not really a lot of promotional process books or testing, you know, classes or training classes. That's why I was inspired to put together my two promotional preparation books, as well as the classes that I do, because there's not a lot out there. So I think my stuff complements their stuff, but I just want to give a plug for those two guys, because I think they do great solid work, but take classes, read books, research how to orient yourself on the promotional process itself. But as I keep saying time and time again, don't forget the most important thing, prepare for the position, then they it shouldn't matter what they throw at you. So as always, thank you very much for the gift of your time. Um, feel free to reach out if I can be of any assistance to any of you out there. Connect with me on social media. And until the next time, y'all take care, be safe, and we'll hopefully see you soon. Have a great one, everyone.